everyone. Welcome back to some coding videos. I am Daniela. Chris here. And uh, we're gonna today we're gonna look at um, a night sky simulator. So we're gonna make a pretty picture that looks just like this. Um, that represents the night sky. We're we're gonna inject fake stars in it with using code um, and simulate what our sky looks like. Um, so this is not actually real. It looks real, kind of. But it's actually computer generated, and we're going to make a code to do this. Right. And an, another cool thing we're going to do in this activity is we're going to analyze some data that we make with uh, while we make these stars. So analyzing data is really important. I do it a lot in my research um, because it lets us learn more about what we're studying. Um, yeah, yeah, so we're going to use Google Sheets so to make sure everybody who has Chromebooks and stuff can follow along. If you want to use Excel, if you want to use, uh, my favorite is LibreOffice personally. Um, if you want to use Apple Numbers, that's fine too. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to use Google Sheets uh, later on, so, so make sure you're ready to do that. Yes. All right, let's, ready get, to code? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, do you want to you do the typing? Sure. I'll, let's swap spots. All right. There we go. All right. I'm excited about this one. All right, so here's the, the code link. We open the code up, and now let's see what happens when I click Run. So I'm going to go ahead and click Play, and look at that. We are making a night sky with the code we just opened up. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, but is it realistic? It is unfortunately not very realistic. Um, we have a lot of dim stars here, but as we know, when we look up at the night sky, we see not only dim stars, but we also see very bright stars. Right, so let's take a look at what's in the code, and I, I think we can do better. I think so too. Uh, so let's take a look at the code and, and see what's here, and, and then try to figure out how we can make it more realistic. So. Sounds like a good plan. So I remember the draw function. Uh, do you remember from the other activities how fast the draw function runs? How often? Uh, yes, it makes 60 stars a second. That's right. The draw function runs 60 times a second. So therefore, if we're going to draw a star, that means we're going to draw 60 of these stars a second. And every time we do that, we get a random number for the x value, which is the position on the screen up this way. So the, the width of the screen is 500. Um, then we get a random y value, so we have an x, we have some y value, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so this height of the screen is 500. And then the z value, this one's interesting, because this one is the distance to the star in light years, okay? Um, and so it's a random number between 2 and 20. So the stars here are between 2 and 20 light years away. But the thing is that that's in this direction, and so we can't really see that direction. Mm -hmm. In much the same way, like when we look up at the night sky, we can't immediately see how far away that star is. We only see how bright they are. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's going to be important later on in this activity. So we're not actually using Z. So if you notice when we're drawing the star here, uh, we have an X and we have a Y that we're giving to it. We have another thing here, uh, which is related to the brightness. And so I think this, this thing here is going to be key to having a mix of... of of bright and mm -hmm. dim stars. And then what we do is we, we, we have a count of the number of stars that we have. So initially it's zero. Every time we're going to increase that count by one, we're going to write to the screen, generated this many stars so far. And then this thing at the end is just sort of saying, all right, well, if we have more than, if we have 200 stars or more, then stop. So this no loop thing just means stop. Uh, we use that with some of the game overs some of the physics of video games mm -hmm. things is that's where the no loop comes from um, and then it just says all right we're finished we're finished generating our star so this is what we have and we want to modify it to make it more realistic mm -hmm. so so first let's see if we can even make brighter stars so as you saw in this picture um, from the code we have very dim stars but if we go to that um, third variable in draw stars, let's just add another zero. So instead of having 10,000, we'll put 100,000 for the brightness. And let's click play, see what happens. So right now, right, we have very dim stars. And I click play. We were just able to make much brighter stars. 
Yeah, it's much bigger. Mm -hmm. So that just means that we're able to make dim stars, we're able to make bright stars, but now let's see if we can make a combination of these dim and bright stars on this same um, patch of sky that we have right here.